What is up everybody, Ben Johnson here, and today I wanna to share with you my top five video editing tools for Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. As mentioned before, today we are talking about some of my favorite editing tools in Final Cut Pro 10. These tools are often called plugins. Plugins are typically, you know, title effects or transitions or animations that really can just help enhance your video and do so in a way that's very user friendly and efficient. So today we're breaking down my top five that I use all the time in my client work and in my YouTube videos. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Let's get into it. First up on the list is one of my absolute favorite video effects plugins and it's called M Channel Modern. This effect pack is brought to you by Motion VFX, which in my opinion is the best resource that I have personally found for Final Cut Pro. It comes with overlays, titles, transitions, elements, and so much more. The thing that I love about this plugin is it is so easy to use. You simply drag and drop. You don't have to spend hours upon hours creating it frame by frame in something like After Effects. But wait, doesn't that take the customization out of it? Well, no, it doesn't because the awesome thing about this is while it is drag and drop, it is still very customizable from colors to shapes to in and out animations and size and position, you name it, you can control it and really make it on brand for what you're trying to do. If you're trying to have a cool, trendy, modern, minimal look for your channel, then this plugin is definitely the way to go. All right, next up on the list is my must have recommendation if you are a YouTuber editing in Final Cut Pro, and that is the MTuber pack. This pack comes in a part one and a part two, but both packs are super great to have and they have so many good tools that can help you maximize tutorials and review videos for YouTube. I use this pack all the time. I use it for my invitation animations as well as my end screen and my subscription animations and titles and all types of stuff. Being able to use the MTuber plugin to uh, zoom in and highlight and you know emphasize different points on my screen during tutorials or different products that I'm reviewing really helps my workflow be easy, efficient, and overall more effective. All right, next up on the list is Color Finale, and this is the tool that I use to color grade my video footage. This plugin is incredible. If you haven't already seen my color grading tutorial, definitely go ahead and pause this video and check that out because you'll get to see this tool in action. Simply put, it gives you more flexibility, more options, and a more intuitive interface than what Final Cut has built in. If you are looking to level up your color grading abilities this year and you're editing in Final Cut Pro, I would highly recommend Color Finale. All right, next up on the list isn't really a plugin, but it is something that I use on every single video that I make. It's one of the most important tools that I have. We're talking about Soundstripe. One of the things that we have to be aware of as content creators and YouTubers is copyright laws. You can't just use your favorite song by your favorite artist on your videos because you don't own the rights to that music. That's where Soundstripe comes in. Soundstripe is a platform that offers tons of amazing music that you can legally license on YouTube videos and creative client work. They're always expanding their library of music, plus they offer a ton of great filter tools that help you quickly find the right track for your project. It is way cheaper than the competition, and believe me, I know this from firsthand experience. I used to spend over $4,000 yearly licensing music on other platforms for my client work. If you wanna see an in-depth comparison breaking down all of the different music licensing platforms that are available to us, I've actually already made that and we'll link it right here. 
In short, Soundstripe is the best value option. I only have to spend $150 a year to get unlimited access to their music for my projects. That blows my mind. And get this, they have recently added both sound effects and stock video plans to their site. I could not make a video talking about my favorite tools for editing without mentioning Soundstripe. I've used their platform for years, long before I started my YouTube channel, and honestly, it just makes the whole music selection process one of my favorite parts about editing. And the last plugin that we're going to be talking about today is actually a free plugin from Motion VFX called MCAM Rig. Take this screenshot for example. This is a boring, plain, simple screenshot. But if I apply MCAM Rig, I can change the positioning, change the angle to make it have dimension, add a depth of field option, then animate it. And now we went from this still and boring screenshot to a moving, dimensional, and dynamic shot. All with just a few clicks from this free plugin. All right, everybody, that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this and found some value from it. If you guys wanna check out any of the tools or plugins that I've talked about, I've gone ahead and placed a ton of links down in the description as a resource for you. Before you guys leave, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and as always, stay creative. Peace. <laughs>